the Dexcom G6 lasts 10 days, the Freestyle Libre 2 lasts 14 days, but Eversense XL lasts 180 days and the company behind it says they are working on a 365 day CGM. In this video I'm gonna share all you need to know about the Eversense CGMs. Let's go! Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom. I've been type 1 diabetic for over 30 years and on this channel I help you navigate your diabetes journey. The Eversense Continuous Glucose Monitoring System is made by a company called Sensionix and is distributed by another company called Essentia, which is quite a well-known diabetes care company. They currently have two CGM solutions, the 90-day Eversense CGM system and the 180-day Eversense XL system. Both of these systems consist of the first ever subcutaneous sensor that measures glucose levels for up to 90 or 180 days, a removable and rechargeable smart transmitter that provides you with on-body VIPE alerts and the mobile app for long-term continuous monitoring that shows you your glucose value and graph. Their sensor is really really tiny and it's placed under your skin in the upper arm during a short 5-minute procedure in a doctor's office. I watched an interview with the guy who had this procedure done and he mentioned that the wound after the procedure was very small. He compared it to a shaving nick when you cut yourself while shaving. He mentioned that the procedure doesn't require any stitches, just steri strips and you basically don't know about the wound shortly after the procedure and it's fully healed within a few days. And it makes sense because the sensor is only 3 mm in diameter and 18 mm long, so really tiny. Now there is no battery in the sensor itself and there doesn't need to be one because the sensor is wirelessly powered by a transmitter. The transmitter is sleek, not as small as Freestyle Libre but comparable to the Dexcom G6 size. And it can be secured to the skin on your upper arm with a gentle double-sided silicon adhesive tape. Now I haven't personally tested the Sensionic sensor or the silicon tape but the tape looks really nice and comfortable and I've heard really good things about it from the people who've used it. And the best thing about it is that you can change the tape every day. With the Freestyle Libre you need to use the same adhesive for 14 days, with the Dexcom G6 you use the same adhesive for 10 days. I'm convinced that having the same tape with the adhesive on your skin for such a long time is not good for anybody's skin in the long term. I've heard from many Freestyle Libre and Dexcom users who've been having issue with the sensor adhesives, skin irritation, itching or the sensor adhesive not sticking enough for long enough. So having a gentle silicone tape that I can change every day sounds very appealing to me. The Eversense transmitter is water resistant so you can swim with it, you can shower with it but you can also take it off and put it back on whenever you want. And I think it's great to have this freedom and flexibility to remove it and reapply it because there are many reasons why sometimes I want to take off my sensor for a short time and then put it back on but I can't with those ones like Freestyle Libre or Dexcom. Maybe you want more privacy when you go for a massage to the beach to the first date or maybe you just want to take a naked shower every day and with Eversense you can do this just keep in mind whenever you take off the transmitter you will stop receiving the readings and you will get your readings back when you put the transmitter back on. Personally I think I would mostly take the advantage of taking the transmitter off when I'm taking the shower but hey everyone is different and I think it's great to have this flexibility to take it off put it back on depending on everyone needs. Now the company says that any risk of potential tissue inflammation is reduced by sensors drug eluding silicon color which helps the device maintain accurate readings for a long period. And similar to other CGMs like the Freestyle Libre or Dexcom, Eversense takes the readings from interstitial fluid, so not directly from blood. The sensor communicates the raw data to the transmitter every 5 minutes and the transmitter immediately communicates the glucose readings to your mobile device via Bluetooth. Now the mobile app not only gives you the value of your blood glucose but it also indicates a trend where you're headed and it gives you alerts when something is not right. The app stores your glucose data in a secured cloud location so anyone who you give access to can view your data 
alerts on their mobile devices so you can give access to your caregivers to your family or pretty much whoever you want now there is one really cool thing about this eversense transmitter the transmitter vibrates on your body if your glucose value is too high or too low so you will get alerted even if you don't have your phone on you and i think it's especially great for people who sleep through their alarms because when you get the vibration directly on your arm it's much more likely to wake you up compared to when your mobile phone vibrates on your nightstand. Now we need to talk about accuracy because all these benefits that I talked about so far only make sense if the sensor is accurate enough. Sensionic demonstrated MART of 9.4% during the 180 day period and 8.5% during the 90 day period. And these numbers are pretty comparable with Freestyle Libre or Dexcom. So accuracy should not be an issue with this CGM. After the sensor expires, it needs to be removed and replaced. So you need to come to the doctor's office again for a quick procedure and this can be done during your regular procedures so let's say you have a 90 day sensor you visit your endocrinologist every 90 days during that time you can have the sensor replaced if the sensor expires and you don't get it replaced then you will not receive any readings let's look at a few more potential disadvantages of the system that i see the sensor requires a 24 hour warm-up period and during this warm-up period you will not receive any readings the current versions of eversense sensors require calibration twice a day with a finger prick, which is something you don't have to do with uh, Freestyle Libre 2 or Dexcom G6. But the company is working on reducing the number of calibrations with the finger pricks you will have to do. In the first step, they want to reduce it to one daily calibration, and in the second step, they want to reduce it further to one calibration per week. I think one calibration per week with a finger prick I can live with that. Another con is that you have to charge a transmitter every 24 hours for 15 minutes. Not a big deal because you can actually do that while you're taking the shower, but you have to do it. So do I think Eversense CGM is worth it? Well, I see many benefits for people who are active and who want more flexibility. It's also great for people who have issues with other sensors, adhesives, or sleep through their alarms. And there is very little medical waste from the Eversense CGM. So from the environmental point of view, this sensor is really great. But there are also risks. First risk is that Eversense CGM is not used by many users yet because it is quite new. At the end of 2020, there were 12,000 active users and not so many reviews available. But 75% of the users who tried Eversense CGM have done the re-implant immediately after the first sensor ended. So immediately after the first sensor ended, three out of four users applied the second sensor. And with the next sensor, the percentage even increased. 85% of the people who had two sensors previously implanted decided to implant the third sensor. And I think these high percentages indicate that the users have been very satisfied with the Eversense CGM sensors. Another risk that I see is that during the pandemic, the appointments in doctor's offices have been limited. So there have been users who didn't get their sensor replaced Timely. Now that more people are getting vaccinated, I think this risk is mitigated or will be mitigated in a very short time, but it's still something to consider. In terms of availability in 2021, the 180 day version received a CE mark and is already available on many European markets. In the US, the only available version right now is the 90 day version, but the 180 day version is in the final stages in the FDA approval and should become available fairly soon. And if the 180 day version is not enough for you, then you should know that the company has a 365 version that they are currently working on, which will only require a weekly calibration. To me, that sounds really exciting. And I think I might go ahead and try the Eversense CGM at some point. And what about you? What do you think about the Eversense CGM system? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to connect with me directly, then check out the first link in the show notes. It will take you to my Patreon site where you can access live streams, behind the scenes videos and direct messaging channel. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next Type 1 Talks video really soon. Ciao!